Double vowel sounds, known as diphthongs, is a concept that is rarely heard in most other languages. To make a diphthong, you make a small glide in the tongue to form two interconnected sounds. Double vowel sounds. A. Day. Hey. Way. A. Day after day, he may have made more hay, but during his heyday was led astray by greed and demands for higher pay. Day after day, he may have made more hay, but during his heyday was led astray by greed and demands for higher pay. I. Sky. Tie. Sigh. I. I might buy my kite tonight and find the reason why it can fly so mightily high in the sky. I might buy my kite tonight and find the reason why it can fly so mightily high in the sky. Oi. Boy. Annoy. Void. Oi. Troy McCoy was the boy who toyed with the ploy of choice of using his noisy voice to destroy Coy Roy. Troy McCoy was the boy who toyed with the ploy of choice of using his noisy voice to destroy Coy Roy. Ear. Beer. Near. Here. Ear. The beer sold here and near the pier tastes weird, yet we really fear it's hard to steer clear. The beer sold here and near the pier tastes weird, yet we really fear it's hard to steer clear. Air, eh. bear, care, hair, air. Eh. Beware of the bear whose only care is to eat your fare and who is rarely snared or dared, especially when in pairs. Beware of the bear whose only care is to eat your fare and who is rarely snared or dared, especially when in pairs. Ooh. Sewer. Fewer. Newer. Ooh. The steward endured touring the moors, then cruelly lured the poor tourists seeking a cure into deep sewers. The steward endured touring the moors, then cruelly lured the poor tourists seeking a cure into deep sewers. Ow. Cow. Now, brow, ow. Now the cow knows how to plow the ground and has found a way around the hound to loudly row with the sow. Now the cow knows how to plow the ground and has found a way around the hound to loudly row with the sow. Wa. One. Wonder. Wa. One wonders how every one of the seven world wonders could be so wonderful. One wonders how every one of the seven world wonders could be so wonderful. O. Oh. Bone. Home. Phone. O. Oh. Mo boldly told Joe not to go slow or he won't go home and eat rolled oats tomorrow. Mo boldly told Joe not to go slow or he won't go home and eat rolled oats tomorrow.
Special consonant pronunciations. T to D rule. When a T occurs between two vowel sounds, it is pronounced as a soft D. Examples. Letter. Butter. Later. Rider. Cater. Matter. Fighter. Lighter. Brighter. T also turns into D when the T occurs between a vowel sound and L. Cattle. Battle. Scuttle. Brittle. This also applies when there is another silent vowel after the T. Metal. Flower petal. The A in metal and petal is silent. T also turns into D when the T occurs between R and a vowel sound. Aorta. Berta. Concerto. Artifact. Please note, even if a word in isolation normally features a T sound at the end of it, for example, part, tart, sport, etc., if it is directly followed by a word that begins with a vowel sound, then the T also turns into D. This tool is part of a kit. The tart is delicious. The best players in this sport are Jackson and Ross. They fought on. Light up the room. Exceptions. The T is pronounced T if the word ends in the syllable T-E-L. Hotel. Motel. When the final syllable of the word is T-O-N or T-T-O-N, it is pronounced as T-E-N. The T should be kept plosive instead of being turned into a D. Examples. Cotton. Mutton. Button. There are two types of consonants in the MSA accent, voiced and voiceless, or unvoiced consonants. Examine the difference and feel the vibration of your vocal cords as you make the following sounds. Pup, voiceless, versus pub, voiced. Life, voiceless, versus live concert. Voiced. Voiced and voiceless consonants. An important reason why we need to know if a consonant is voiced or voiceless is that when those consonants are followed by ed in a word, the exact pronunciation of the ed depends completely on the kind of consonant that came before it. Many English words have an ed ending, mostly regular past English verbs or adjectives. When the ed ending in those words is immediately preceded by a voiced consonant, the d is voiced. Here is a list of MSA English voiced consonants and consonant sounds. B, bit, d, door, g, get, m, man, n. Nice. G. King. V. Van. The. Then. Z. Zip. Z. Leisure. R. Rat. L. Leg. J. Jump. The semivowels W and Y also belong to the group of voiced consonants. W, wet. Y, yet. Here are the voiceless consonants and consonant sounds. The voice remains passive, 
the vocal cords do not vibrate. P, pope. T, time. K, cow. F, fan. Th, think. S, sad. Sh, shop. H, hat. Ch, chop. Note the two variations of the th sound. Voiced th. That. Those. Them. Voiceless th. Thought. Threatened. Thoroughly. Theodore and Thelma thought that those thugs threatened them thoroughly. There is a small difference in vowel length between voiced and voiceless sounds. Voiceless, short. Voiced, slightly longer. Mat, mad, dock, dog, kilt, killed. The voiced to voiceless rule. Also note that when a word ends with a voiced consonant and the next word begins with the voiceless equivalent, the voiced consonant at the end of the first word becomes voiceless too. Example. The word please. Please be seated. Please here is pronounced please. Please sit. Please sit here is pronounced please sit. When American people speak, they connect words together. This tool is part of a kit. Wide open, end up. Short single vowel sounds. Pit, hit, road. First, T to D rule. Letter, butter. That words like international can be pronounced as international. Go out. Who is this? Talk? Saw? The offers at the mall were always awesome, so we thought we ought to walk there and then often just bought everything we saw. For any of you guys out there who have an accent, um, I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it. I think I've improved a lot. Very happy with this course. I have told all my friends about it. This is what worked for me and I want to share it with you guys. I've been using it for about two months now and everybody is surprised at my quick improvement. Nobody ever asks me to repeat things which is 
a huge thing that I faced when I first started speaking English. I used to have a very strong Chinese accent. I've been working to perfect my standard American accent for a while now. I came from Egypt a few years ago and uh, there's always that difficult time when you are still sort of pronouncing things wrong and I needed to get through that faster just because I wanted to do so much better in my life. And I've been getting a lot of uh, requests lately to do a video to explain why or how I got rid of my Chinese accent. I've always wanted to speak with a real American accent. The only trouble I had was when it came to um, pronunciation. I used to think that just by living in the US I would pick it up and uh, when I saw that it didn't really uh, happen, uh, I would start to look around for ways to get rid of my accent. I started looking online and I came across this course that basically promised to teach me all the important basics of um, how to speak with a proper American accent. It taught me how the long and short vowels should be, how to link words together, and it gives you some really good exercises and special tricks too. Obviously it definitely worked for me. And I'm really sure it would have needed much more time and I would have taken much longer to improve my accent if I had not uh, started working with the course. Um, I suggest that you guys do yourself a favor and check out the course. Definitely check it out if you are having a little bit of trouble with um, the accent. I do think that it works. Um, it works for me and I think that it will work for you. Good luck with your accents.